Well, the Prime Minister has urged supermarkets to introduce those aisles where shoppers can buy products with no plastic packaging. Let's talk about that now with uh, Sean Sutherland, co-founder of A Plastic Planet. That's an organisation that campaigns for such aisles. Do you think we'll see them soon? I very much hope so. I mean, next month uh, we will be announcing some very big news from A Plastic Planet where we will be actually launching our first plastic-free supermarket aisle. Unfortunately, not in the UK, but what I'm very excited about, it will be a northern European supermarket chain. It will be scalable, it will be viable, and it will be extremely convenient. And those are things that we know that we have to have. Just give a consumer how that actually works in practice. I mean, what, what is it? Is it paper bags that they no. pick? Well, what we're not talking about is going backwards. Nobody actually wants to go backwards in time to the old days of, of shopping. We are equally addicted to convenience as we are to plastic. So our vision of a plastic-free aisle is one where it, it actually is an avenue for all the innovation that is happening right now. There's a huge amount of innovation. We're just not using it in this country. Northern European countries really are pioneering a lot of that. So we'll be very pleased to introduce a lot of that technology to the UK supermarkets and work with the government to implement our vision. I so can forgive me for pushing it. I mean, how do you get your carrots home without a plastic bag? Great. Um, there's many things you can use. You can use a paper bag, uh, but you can also use some of the new forms of packaging that look and behave like plastic, that protect our food and give us the convenience that we're so addicted to but are not actually indestructible plastic. They're so biodegradable. Can, exactly. Okay. They're home compostable or they're industrial compostable. You must broadly welcome this announcement today. I, I'm just wondering two things. It, it, it's not legally enforceable and, and the time scale has, has mm -hmm. upset some people. Yes, I mean, the time scale, obviously we need to accelerate the pace of change, but that's our job at A Plastic Planet. You know, our, our job was to come up with a simple idea to give consumers choice and that's giving them a plastic free aisle in a day when you can buy gluten free and fat free and dairy free you can't buy plastic free that's like a human right has been taken from us so we're very keen for that to happen and then the second part of our job is to help industry the governments help innovation definitely help the supermarkets introduce these aisles and get a lot of these new technologies in there what we don't want as consumers is to go backwards and we don't want to lose convenience we don't want packaging free we want plastic free now, it wasn't that long ago we were doing stories on that shop in Modbury down in Devon that introduced a, a ban on, on plastic bags. It, it's all moving quite fast. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering how you encourage this momentum with supermarkets and others. Is I think it would be by example. Which is why so I'm it's quite a carrot excited. rather than a stick? Most definitely. And you know, that's why I'm reluctant and you know, the whole team at A Plastic Planet are reluctant to come out and back a plastic tax. Because why is taxation always put forward as the solution for, for social change? It didn't work with smoking. It definitely isn't working with alcohol. Really, it didn't work with oil. My whole childhood, every budget, more and more you know, tax increases on those three things. The one thing that made a difference was for us to actually make a seismic shift and that was banning it, you know, banning smoking in public places. That's made a huge change. We need more of those kind of initiatives now. And will that work with supermarkets? I mean, a bit, what other incentives could there be? What we would love, well, our, our idea is that rather than using the stick of taxation, why can't we get the carrot out? Why can't we get the plastic-free carrot out and use that instead and actually give supermarkets business rates relief for every supermarket that introduces a plastic-free aisle to give us the public choice. Sean Sullivan, thank you very much for coming in. Thank, thank you. you.